Hello, welcome to the Movie Mates podcast. I'm your mate Adam, and with me is my mate, and maybe yours too if you're cool enough, Binnyman. Hey, uh, If some of you think this sounds a little familiar, correct. We did a few test episodes back in 2018, but back in since, the day. since 2020 is officially <laughs> the worst year ever. Um, we're, and we're all confined to our screens at home. We thought we'd come back with some insight of what you should be watching if this isn't the latest infection rate numbers. Yes. Uh, this means we'll be take, tackling some full series mm-hmm. as well as movies, mm-hmm. uh, most of which you can see right now depending on the streaming services you own. Um, and to prove that, we're going to start off with Amazon se- Prime series, The Boys. Indeed. Yes. And I believe, ooh, how many people do you think have Amazon Prime? I'm sorry. It's a dicey one to start with, but it's what we're starting (laughs) with. (laughs) I mean, you know, you can... It's like, hey, Ben and Adam, you guys could have started with Netflix. Everybody has Netflix, but you know what? Nah. Amazon Prime. (laughs) Maybe this was a mistake. (laughs) Anyway, we... We're committed. It's all, all right, good. We're done. We're done. We're going well, it, it speaks to it because we did want to talk about this one. This yes, is like a cool exactly. series. I feel like um, this is a series that kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Yes. Like we only heard about this. Like it seems like Recently. everyone everyone recommended me this in the in last the, month. In the space of like a week in the last month. Yeah. yeah. And it came from like three or four different people. And yeah. I'm like, what is going on? What Do, do I need to watch this? Like exactly. what is what is happening? Um, uh, and similarly yeah. for me, it was just like, I saw it, I, I had Amazon prime from like close to a yeah. year ago now. And I saw it and I was like, Oh, that sounds interesting, weird, but interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. Mm. And then completely forgot about it. And then come the conversations in the last month. Yeah. Um, I was just like, okay, I might as well give it a try. And then very quickly <laughs> started recommending it to other people. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. It's- we, we've been um, we've been doing uh, so. What we will do for this for this mm. um, and all all our episodes going forward as well, we'll yes. try and keep this relatively spoiler free, um, and then we'll we'll give you a cut off at point at some point. Where we'll say, okay, now we're going to start talking we're about the talk things, all the spoilers, and then you know. So, but we want to make sure we give you the the straight review as early as possible to make sure, like, if you're going to watch five minutes, you're going to we're going to tell you whether or not you should actually watch this thing or not. Correct. Um, okay, so. Let's start at the end of the review and go backwards. Okay. Uh, what did you think? Um, so to 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 my point earlier on, where it was just like, oh, it looked interesting, but it yeah. didn't actually draw me in with like the synopsis and yep. and just the immediate view of it. Um, but as soon as yourself and Chris and a few other people started talking about, it, I was like, well, I'll I'll give it a try. So you jump in, and first episode, it is. It is something else. <laughs> it, <laughs> it really um, is. To 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 cut it all short, I enjoyed it. Like yep. straight up, I I just enjoyed it. But the first episode, like part way through it, I was just like, "Wow, this is a lot." Like <laughs> <laughs> this is really intense. <laughs> this is very intense. So um, it's yeah, I I I'm I'm a big fan of it. It is it is not what I expected. Yep. Um, it has a lot of depth. It has a lot of humor. And yep. it is very, uh, what's the word for it? It's brutal. Yeah. Like there's just a lot of gore. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a lot more than you'd expect. So we're like uh, for people that are audio listeners, mm. uh, thanks. But uh, we are in, in, in the background. There is, uh, we're watching the season one trailer. Uh, trailer. Mm. And even then you can just look and be like, man, this is just like, it, it, it really sells itself immediately of being like, this is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does not hold back. It's it doesn't pretend to be anything else. No, um, there's no there's no real gotchas. No, like uh, and and often that's I don't know if that's always a good or a bad thing, but in this case, I'm I'm totally happy with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's straight up what it is about what it is from the get go, mm. and it delivers the whole yeah. way through. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm with you. I would say I would definitely recommend this series to mm. someone, mm. Um, but with an asterisk. Yes, uh, because as we'll get into as well, um, it's probably a good place to do as well. There's definitely, as you just saw, like a man run through another human being. <laughs> um, there is a content. There's a big content warning mm. that goes with this series. Not just not just violence, because I think people. Everything. Generally, right or wrong, I think mm. people are generally accepting of a level of violence yes. and be like, okay, cool, it's superheroes, it's bloody, it's mm. whatever. Mm. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff in this. There's a lot of discussions about sexual assault, uh, rape. Um, there's a lot, there's just a lot of there's a lot of really um really rough uh topics and it's conversations in here and it, confronting. It, it can be very, very confronting. And and, and and they talk like and and even you know 
in our current political discourse, mm. um, it feels very on point as well. But if you don't feel up to discussing the kind of fascist like tendencies of superheroes, <laughs> yeah. um, mm. and because, you know, the constant talk of fascism in modern day life is getting you down, mm. maybe wait for a little bit of a break. Yeah. Um, but... It's still very much a worthwhile series, but it's just with that asterisk of being like, if if those things aren't for you, mm. then potentially you might want to give this one a miss. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think just to add to that, uh, uh, the good thing about this series in that mm, sense as well yeah. is you can watch the first episode and know straight away whether it's oh, yeah, good for absolutely. you or not. Like if you're within, like wondering, oh, should I? I'm not sure yeah. if I'm, yeah. You can tell after the first episode, you can be like, yeah, yeah I'm good. I'm not going to watch any yeah. of this. And if, and, um, and if you're unsure... Um, if you'd watch the second episode, then mm. there's no. I, I feel after the second, after the first two episodes, there is no doubt whether you would want to continue watching the exactly. show or not. Exactly. Um, um, for us, it was big yeses. Yeah. We, I was like, <laughs> give me more of this, please. Yeah. And, um, and, and just to kind of like yeah. sing its praises a little bit more mm. for like off the get go. That's that that is a fantastic selling point in itself. Very often, oh, there's a yes, lot of series yes. where a lot of people are like, oh, this is a fantastic series. And you start watching it and three episodes in, you're like, why am I still watching this? What is going on? And they're like, oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Give it give it the first six episodes. Like, why I'm do I want to watch six, hours of, six content. hours of content before I start enjoying it? That is ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. And I, and that that is something that's really interesting that I actually noticed immediately on watching mm. this is that it the story continues to push forward mm. at a pacing that is um, that is very good for a streaming series exactly. where, where we get into this where Netflix is pretty I think people have made this synonymous with Netflix mm. of the Netflix show of being like one and two are banger episodes yes three four five six are like yeah. just flat nothing <laughs> and then it's probably and then it's like it. seven eight nine ten or whatever like and then like, they'll, they'll just shove wraps, everything at the wraps end it up yeah because they expect you to binge mm. as t- like basically like, to maybe maybe if it's a 10 episode series they'll be like well you'll we're, probably we're thinking, watch it within the space of a week or yeah something, or they'll or, the, not, or they'll watch the mm. first three to four episodes in one, in one hit and then they'll watch the back half mm. like and they'll split it into two or th- into halves or thirds yeah so you can actually see it's like you're watching three movies yeah. instead of like 10 episodes they yes. expect so if if there's you know in if we're talking about a movie that's you know two hours if there's half an hour in the movie that nothing much happens and it's like plot development mm. that's we, still you're generally okay yeah. even though that's a quarter of the movie but yeah. people are generally like okay well that's you know it's fine manageable it's building it's building yeah but when you're looking at a 10 out when they look at this as like some 10 hour movie like yeah. one big chunk of content they're like oh well you know if the middle if the middle, middle three hours the, oh, is yeah middle yeah quiet. middle 25 percent of three hours or mm. something or like two and a half hours is nothing people won't mind yeah. where it's just like man i've only got time to sit down and watch one episode yeah I want it to. I be, want it to be enjoyable. I want it to be good. And I, I want, want it to just be, be like, good. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Just get into it. And this does that. I really feel that there's always something interesting. Yes. The world building is really good. Yeah. They always keep introducing stuff that you're just like, man. I just like it. it, it, it you you very much follow the 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 plot of the one of the two central characters, mm. Huey, um, as he kind of goes down the rabbit hole. And this is a very and clear his, trope of correct. a lot of shows, but. Um, you follow his progress and you kind of learn with him. Mm. Um, and he is constantly learning m- more things about the world that he didn't, didn't know. know was yeah. a, Or that most people don't most know. Most people like, don't know. So, society doesn't so know. So it's a very interesting thing of being like, he's always discovering new things. So you're always discovering new things. Yeah. You're always being engaged. Mm. And it's in that sense, it's a really, it's very interesting. And yeah. it always keeps the people hooked in. Yeah. Which. And, and, yeah, and I great. think, I think that, that beyond just the pacing of that, the fact that it is able to mm. so so w- when we're talking about the likes of superhero movies or series yeah. oh a the pacing is often hard to nail down yeah um so the likes of the uh, luke oh, cage yeah. and all the other marvel stuff on netflix we, we well, those we, Mar- those netflix marvel ones mm. are like probably grade a examples of Bad pacing. Bad pacing. <laughs> like all, um, all, I think all of them. All of them have pacing <laughs> problems. Yeah. Like we we thoroughly enjoy I them. I love. But yeah, I love them. We but... will <laughs> readily admit that. Yeah, the pacing just sucked. Like that was just 
sw- like good chunks of it that was just like nothing. Yeah. And then one episode that everything happens yeah. and there's like five plot twists or something <laughs> like that. So it can be pretty ridiculous. And, and so that's something that we've seen a lot of superhero shows struggle with. Yeah. But then um, the, the other aspect that I really liked, like about the way that the boys handles it is that character development and the the story progression mm. is they handle it in such a way to your point where it's we're following Huey and we're learning with Huey as it goes. Whereas yeah. the likes of uh, Spider-Man or the likes of a uh, Justice League where they will try to cram as mm. much backstory into the very beginning to go here is the first 15 minutes where we're just telling you all this information it's just, it's just you need dump. to know yeah. so that we can tell the rest of the story that in itself is also problematic because it's just like you just given me this whole world i don't care that <laughs> i don't need to know all that doesn't make sense because you've crammed it down into 15 minutes and then now you're, you're expecting me to follow the rest of the story yeah, yeah. so that's another issue that i've seen and that that i i suppose the the te- television and movie industry has struggled yeah. with where i think in this example they have done it so very well to yeah take us along on the journey to go yeah this guy is fresh to this world you're also fresh to mm. this world and you will learn as he is learning so, and that's a fantastic way mm, to do it I think. so do we want to give a quick plot synopsis for people without any spoilers of like yes. what this series is kind of about and the themes and everything i believe so yeah so really it's kind of about like so uh, you can see like the boys are effectively this group of vigilantes and we'll actually get into how this differentiates from the no, graphic novel as correct. well. Cause it, it, that's actually a whole great topic of conversation as well. But um, basically, you know, they're forming this little group of, of vigilantes who um, they know the secrets of where heroes exist. They mm. know the, the gritty secret that heroes are like generally egomaniacal scumbags yeah. <laughs> who kill uh, you know they they do anything that they want to do because mm. they're like well, we're superheroes yeah. like why wouldn't we do it like, and they, they get, can paid get away to do with it, it. Yes. and they and and they have the big heroic image mm. but then behind closed doors they're just uh shitty people yeah power hungry <laughs> maniacs yes um and and i think that it's it is very interesting because it definitely brings what we know as the what we know through the general like how popular superheroes are right now mm, mm. everyone knows about like even if you want a comic books person mm. you know about superheroes now just from marvel movies from dc movies from Correct. all of that stuff it's just ubiquitous knowledge now yeah um where um and it, this 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 show really heavily plays on like your knowledge the of that tropes, to be yeah. like oh okay I get what they're doing because yeah. like like Iron Man would really be a fucking nut job like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. anybody in that position would be a mess or Captain America <laughs> would probably be a fascist right yeah. like he's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a misogynist or super, racist or super mid. <laughs> well realistically so they more compare to DC yes. more often as well than, than Marvel correct than Marvel um, and a bit of a, a funny backstory as well the reason they actually compare more to DC mm. is intentional. And the reason is, is because when the graphic novel was written, the graphic novel um, was pitched by Garth Ennis, who did, uh, he's done a whole bunch of work for DC and Mm. Marvel as well, Mm. and a lot of his own comic stories. Um, So he's done The Boys, he did The Punisher, he's done Judge Mm. Dredd. He's done. Um, oh, he's done a few others. He's done Preacher as well, which I haven't read. But Preacher yeah, is he's probably his most um, well, well, like well known as the indie stuff because, mm. like, you just it's one of those things that I've never read the pre- Preacher, but like I know what Preacher is, mm. and I'm like, oh, I know that I know that's a thing that that's, people love. Yes. Like that's a that's a comic book thing. Yeah, but um, but. In all of his comics, you can see the a very kind of like dark and edgy, but also have like a weird dark comedy element yeah. to it. Mm. Um, and the boys is absolutely like uh, on point with on that. point with that. Mm. So he pitched this to DC, and DC were like, "Fantastic, we'll, we'll absolutely." And he was like, "I can't believe DC are going to publish yeah. this." And they were like, "Actually, what we're going to do is DC. Um, we'll put it in the DC universe." Yeah. And he was like, "No, the stop, the stop, please! You can't put someone like. <laughs> do you know what you're doing, Homelander, who is basically 
basically Superman, the American dream. Yes. Um, kind the, of crossed, American hero. Kind of crossed with a bit of Captain America with mm. like a lot of the, the American the patriot, flag. Patriotism, patriot. the colours, yeah, uh, everything. But, but like power-wise, powers wise, identical to Superman. Mm. He's just Superman. He's Superman. And he's straight up like he is a fascist, like mm. straight up. Yeah. Um, and that's established pretty early in the comic books, but he's a murderer. He like, he's basically God. So he's just like, I do what I want. Do whatever the hell he wants. Um, mm. And you know, and they do a good job of trying to delve into all these characters yeah. and how not just these individuals are awful and how power, but how power corrupts mm. and how the system has, like, cr- that. has created that, mm. has created the environment for these psychopaths yeah. and these superheroes. And like someone that has super superpowers, ends up being corrupted because of the institutions they're in and yeah. of like and very often they they might be young and idealistic when they start out yeah. but with enough time it which, drags them down or corrupts which them which actually the is the is. other half of the episodes which Correct. focuses on a new superhero called Starlight mm. um and you know she's she's been a superhero for a while but now she's part of the 7 which is like the 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 Justice, the League, Justice League of America <laughs> or or the Avengers or, yeah um, and she's like, okay, cool. Um, and the first thing, and so this is this is part of the setup. So this happens in the first episode. It's probably, mm. oh, I'm wondering if I should say that. Just you know what? I'll, let, I'll, we'll, we'll let it go. <laughs> we'll leave but it be for now. But what happens in the first episode for her is she is immediately confronted with the the idea of these people are all awful and mm. nothing is what I was grown up to or taught to believe. And I want to help people yeah. and save people. And these people are crazy. Yes. And and then there's this, so it's, the whole time it's this big tug of war morally with her of being like, well, do I just accept this that this is, is it and it then is. I just go along with it? Or mm. do I make a stand and say, no, this is not acceptable and, and we I'm need to be do heroes. What I need, what I and I'm going to do. do what yeah, mm. needs to be done. So and so that's a really, really interesting. And, and I think there's a lot of villains in mm. this. And to be honest, the boys aren't exactly. <laughs> they're, they're not good they're people. They're not good people they either. Are, they are, if anything, they are like borderline vigilante. <laughs> oh, they're definitely vigilantes. No, no, no. As in, like, yeah. you've got heroes. Yeah. You've got vigilantes and you've got criminals. <laughs> I'm talking the lower end of vigilantes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they, well, because they're all doing it for a reason as well. They're not hmm. standing up and being like, oh, we're being... We we're, need to save we the need, society. We need to save society because... No. Because Homelander is evil and mm. is killing people, they're like, "No, I've got a personal it's beef a, with Homelander." Correct, and I'm doing it because I hate this person <laughs> rather than it's the right it's, thing to it's do. Good for the world. Or, like, for no. example, of some other people, it, it, it'll get me paid if mm. I do this. Yeah. Like if I'm a, if I kill superheroes, I'll, I can get some money out of it. Yeah, like exactly, it's so, very. So they, they they have their own flaws. Is a, yeah. is a way to put it, and, and, and like just to kind of build off. On top of that, like to, to your point around that, <clears throat> that the evil side of the society, mm. of the superheroes, the fact that the institution itself is part of the problem and everything like that. What mm. you learn as in part of this world building is that, that, that that is very true in the sense that these superheroes are effectively products. Yes. Like, um, well, they have their movies. They have movies in the same way that we have movies like, in our world now. Exactly. So basically, the world is like, imagine us right now. But not only seeing Iron Man, like Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, mm. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Mm. Iron Man is real. and But Robert Downey Jr., like Iron Man, Tony Stark, also acts in his own in movies. His movies. Yes. So they do a movie, but then he also saves people. So it's almost like a marketing thing, which yeah. definitely turns what it into. They're like, yeah. we need to find the correct people to save because mm. it needs to be marketing for the movie for the we movies, have coming out. So that we can make more money. And, the, yeah. and they get rewarded based on, they basically have like a rating and they like based on how well they're doing, yeah. they earn more. And it's, it's just a whole bizarre and just messed up scenario for them. Well, so it, yeah. it gives you that, little bit of almost empathy for mm. the for the seven as well to yeah. be like look this is again this is <clears throat> yes they are shitty people but they are also in a very shitty situation well yeah they're they're they're, they're, they're merely they are products of their environment correct and they have been and and the thing is a lot of people like homelander i think they they try and humanize him a little bit a little bit but very much they don't let anyone off the hook they mm. don't be like oh well you know you know he had a hard life growing up or mm. something they're like no he he's, he's just shit he's <laughs> responsible <laughs> yeah. for his own actions and i think they even do that with the boys as well mm. like the, the the boys 
definitely have to pay the consequences of, of their actions. Of their actions. Yes. Um, which I think is really good to know. Like, it, the show does a very good job of being like, here are the, here are the good guys and here are the bad guys. Mm. And the boys are definitely, the show definitely is not ambi- ambiguous, ambiguous about, this. about it. The, mm. the, the the boys are the heroes. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're the good guys of yes. this story. But it definitely doesn't let people off the hook of being like, just because they're good guys doesn't mean they're capable of good things or they're good people. Mm. Like, mm. And, and definitely it swings the other way around as well. So, like, the bad guys, you know, they might have had reasons for doing what they did, <clears throat> but they're still doing bad things. Yes. And so at some point you're, like, you're drawing the line. Yeah. The one, per- the one entity in the show, I think, that doesn't, let you that that has no redeeming qualities mm. is the company yes. is the idea of is a vote American, which is effectively, I mean the best thing we have to it now would be at literally say calling it Marvel Studios yeah would be like the entity that is Marvel. Mm. I mean you could, you also say DC, but like I think just because Marvel movies are such is such a staple the, in our bigger, society, yeah. I think in the conversion process from graphic novel to TV show. They're definitely pulling some more Marvel elements into the show because that's what people are more familiar with. Mm. But very, yeah, very much in the same sense of being like, well, um, the company is completely responsible for this. They create the environment. They do these things. They enable and encourage the superheroes to do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. So like, this is not like, Oh, we didn't know that they were bad people. It's like, Oh, we know you're a bad person. No, no, no. Well done. (laughs) This this show, this show is strongly anti-capitalist. Yeah. Very, very, uh, very, um, blatantly, uh, or anti-corporate. Corporate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so, which I think again feels very timely because, and this is a it's a very apt translation from the from the graphic novel because yes. the graphic novel has all these themes as well. Yes, different they accentuate it a bit differently mm. depending on the adaptation, which I think is what a good adaptation does. Mm-hmm. But it's um, like it's very uh, like it, it feels very timely that mm. this show is now relevant now. Yes, I think. And and um, with season two coming out shortly as well, it's it's even further so because yeah. um, like I I think if people were to get into it right now as we have yeah like it 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 almost hits another note and a higher note simply because yeah. we're like holy shit yeah yeah this is, <laughs> this is so topical <laughs> yeah um the the other aspect of this series and we here we are just singing its praises but the other aspect of this series that i genuinely really enjoy mm. um and, and i often really look for in basically any medium that i'm consuming yeah. is that character development yes so one thing that i i think anybody in our discord or anybody that's heard me talk superheroes before will know is i deeply Deeply dislike Aquaman. Superman, <laughs> Aquaman. Um, Superman Captain different. America, yeah. and, and Aquaman. <laughs> Simply because they're just so two dimensional. Yes, like you know what their character is, and that's what they do. Yeah. Like they're the Boy Scout, they're the Patriot. That's that's yeah. their thing, and it's yeah, just yeah. like this is so boring. Why yeah. why is this such a popular and big character when they are so goddamn boring? Yeah. <laughs> um, Aquaman is not boring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's the that's the point here. Every single character, every single character that yeah. is of any note in this story, mm. they have good character development. Yeah. Like who they are from the beginning to the end of the series definitely changes. Mm. And it's not just change for the sake of change. It changes based on the experiences that they have and and the different things that's going on in the world. So I love that. I love that as a as a plot point or as a factor of a series because mm. it just makes it so interesting. You get introduced to Huey very early on. He's this naive, dumb kid that doesn't know what's going on and he gets thrown into this world like almost out of his own hands um and it just it just rocks his whole reality yeah and very quickly he has to like just play catch up basically Mm. um and that changes him and then as you get introduced to butcher further and further more about him is revealed and you learn more and it's like holy shit this this is a deep character um i find it interesting with butcher mm. in particular is that 
the pacing between a show and a graphic and novel, novel is because the graphic novel tells you his backstory almost immediately away. and being like, what, why is he doing this? It just tells you. And it's just like, yeah. here's the thing where it kind of draws that out. And he's a bit more enigmatic for the, the course of the, the show. Yeah. Um, I will also say we've both read the first volume of the graphic, of the graphic novel, novel, which there's seven volumes, I think. Yes. So we have not read all of it, and but it has been very interesting to see the adaptation process mm. from one to the other. Yeah. But yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the, the other aspect of this that is fantastic in my mind is the humor to it, right? Oh, yeah. So it is, it, like, as we said, it's very confronting. It's very brutal. And there's just, it's a messed up show, oh, but yeah. it does it. It manages to include humor pretty much throughout in a very dark and bizarre way. Yes. Um, yeah, absolutely. And one of my favorite jokes. Well, even, even the idea of like her dying by him, like running through her yeah. is like, just like so, holy shit. It's so messed <laughs> up. You're like, oh my God. Um, but he's just holding your hands and you're like, oh. <laughs> one of my favorite jokes throughout the whole series yeah. is the deep. Oh and, yeah, and to to my to my point earlier on about not liking Aquaman as a character, um, the Deep is effectively the Aquaman of this series, and even within the comic book world, or or no, I would say more within the fandom than the comic book world, because yeah. I believe the comic books actually try to make him a serious character. Yes. But the fandom just Hates shits him. all over him. Yeah. He's just like this like, dude that talks to fishes, whatever. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> <laughs> and then and the funny thing is in the comic in the in in the graphic novel, mm. the deep isn't actually that prevalent. So this is all the show. All this the is show. All this show that has done this work for the and deep. They <laughs> rip on him so hard throughout the entire series. He's, and he's it shitty. Is he's fantastic. From the first time you see him, yeah. he is an awful awful person <laughs> but and he and then he, the, the further lower he sinks like and i mean in the sense of um more his station mm. and he's just like as life continues to shit on him mm. you are just sitting there being like good <laughs> good um, it really embraces that of being like i am enjoying watching you just suffer yeah. through your miserable <laughs> life <laughs> like, uh, it's also fantastic for me personally yeah because as part of this, to, to my earlier point around character development, I actually, like, later in the season, and without spoiling anything, later in the season, I there was a moment where I was just like, oh, they are actually doing some character development for The Deep. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and we'll touch on this later on, but, like, it it, 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 it does. It gives, it throws him into a... An, an ideal situation for himself mm. um and he he faces his own challenges um so it's just like oh by the end of the season it's like maybe maybe they're actually making him a more serious character now maybe he's gonna have like something of a redemption now or, or something or, or another um and and again totally not a spoiler but come season two trailer like the trailer for season two it which i don't think that's i don't think it spoils anything in season one no it doesn't no, it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. but it I found it absolutely hilarious because it just shows that he is still a joke. <laughs> they just, so what they do, they they drive a boat. He he. I mean, I'm guessing season two is now yet, so we haven't seen it. Mm. But he's got he's like standing on the back of a whale. They're just trying to block the boat, like trying to block, block the, the boys, boys from, from something. achieving whatever it is that they're trying and to they achieve. They just drive the boat and, straight and he, through the whale. He gets up on and top he's of like, the whale. Oh god! <laughs> he gets up on top of the whale with like a power pose, trying to look majestic, and just like the, just the, the, the whale does him. like shoot like. Does the blowhole, blowhole, and he does like a whole hair flick kind of like as yeah. the water sprays on him to look like all cool and shit, and <laughs> then they just like drive the speed boot through the whale. Through the whale. And he's like, oh jeez, and he dives <laughs> off the whale. They just kill the whale. <laughs> Oh, like, so that oh. that 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 made me so happy <laughs> <laughs> seeing that. I think it's really funny as well mm. because like I'm very excited for season two in yes. some of those things, specifically because of the stuff they do set up in season one. Mm. They'll and um it's definitely a show where like you can see a great point you're saying like at the end you think oh is the deep gonna get a redemption arc? Mm. What is gonna happen? And then what ends up and then Knowing knowing the show though, you could be like, they could just do the redemption arc thing, mm. the trope of the redemption arc for a character who is completely unlikable in every yeah. way, shape, or form. Although they could also fake out 
act like he gets redemption arc and then just still and then shit, just on, him shit anyway. on him and like he doesn't change yeah. he's still a garbage person <laughs> and you're still gonna laugh at him and it's still gonna be great yes and i'm really keen to see how they how what they do out. like mm. um from the trailer it looks like it's the latter which i'm okay with it's which fine totally cool in our books but yeah mm. I, I think a, a good other thing to raise in this as well is acted quite well as well um i mm. really like carl urban as uh billy butcher yes as well he yes. does a just a phenomenal he job. He nails it. Um, he just like real psychopathic kind of smile. Like mm. just looks. He just looks consistently. It's funny because like Billy is the leader of the boys. Is like such also an unlikable character. Yeah, is very much like. If you knew this person, you would be like wanting to stay away from them as much as humanly yeah. possible because they're just like a train wreck. Um, he is very much a uh, ooh, I'm, and it's like d- almost, any, any by any means necessary kind yeah. of guy. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'm bending in his conviction. Exactly. <laughs> I was almost going to say narcissistic, but I don't think it's narcissism. It's much more a I will use people. I'll do whatever. I, I will have do, to do whatever I want to and have to do to achieve my goal. So he will like. Straight up, just be like, I need you. He will, he, he basically from the get go, he draws um, Huey in yeah. for his own means. Yes. Like, Huey, is, so he, he doesn't genuinely care for Huey. Like, yeah. and again, this is not in any way, shape, or form a, a spoiler. You can tell from the get go. Yeah. Um, and he purely brings Huey in. To achieve his his goal, his, it's a means to his end. And, and but the thing is, and th- there is a sense of care. The people that he likes, he's like, he doesn't just be like, oh well, they're gonna die. That's mm. their problem. But mm. like in the same way of being like, well, you know, we're here to do a job, and we're professionals, yeah. and we're just gonna do the job, and you know. You just need to toughen up yeah. if you don't like no. it. <laughs> like, so, yeah, he's also a shit character. Yeah. <laughs> um, the whole way through it. But it does it, mm. but it does have a lot of other characters. Uh, I do want to also say it's not like a show where everyone is awful mm. as well. There are a lot of, like, I think it balances really well with Starlight, mm. with Huey. Um, although, again, Huey has some moments of being like, he's, he's like, I'm going to do this because it benefits me. Yeah. Um, everyone has these moments, yeah. but... But I think, yeah, Starlight, Huey, um, I think as well, they, they're going into like another hero, which is like the Wonder Woman character, mm. Queen Maeve, who is like seeming like she's she's like the jaded person who's been in this for so long yeah. and, and wants to do the right thing. But she just is like, <clears throat> what can I point? do? What's the I point? can't fight why, a machine. Why does it matter? I might yeah. as well just shut up and get paid. Yeah. Which is, and it doesn't let her off the hook either. They mm. show that, that is a, that's, and she has to pay consequences for her inaction as well. Mm. But um, but at least it kind of shows that, like, not everyone is it's just straight up shit. No one's off. No one's is 100 percent awful in mm. the show. Mm. But every but everyone just has to pay the price of their actions yeah. effectively. Yeah. Um, and, and I actually did really like the um, portrayal of Queen Maeve and, yes. and like the challenges that she's going through. Mm. Um, I, I, I enjoyed that. Like they don't go into too much depth with it. Well, I think that's but, maybe more for future mm, exploration. Potentially. potentially. Um, but yeah, no, the little that they showed, I was, yeah. I was actually, it was very I think, interesting stuff. I think Mother's Milk is probably the only character that I'm like, this guy's generally looking out for other people. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I think he's the only <laughs> one that is like, guys, we just need it's to like, please. Let's we just need to. <laughs> also, he like, is a super brutal person as mm. well. Like he is no, he's not like, he's soft with people that he cares about, but mm. like he's, Oh, like he's, he's, there's a reason he's in the boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a reason for yeah. it. Um, mm. But yeah, I honestly, yeah. I, so I really liked it. Um, I do want to say like, we're going to be trying to balance around this. What what do you reckon? What would you like to have seen more from the show? Or is there anything that you would have been like, what what would you even maybe more in season two of and be mm. like, this is kind of the the way that you want to go um, in things. If there's, if there's anything in particular. Um, being okay. really nitpicky about so stuff. So to, to be really nitpicky, I, I don't know. I feel like the, may, maybe it's the type of storytelling it is versus what I want. So I don't know. I feel like maybe years of, of the good guys always win is kind of still in the back of my mind where I was just like, I really want someone to just like, Yep. Bitch slap, uh, vote. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. yeah, <laughs> like yeah. just put them in their place somehow. Well, um, I think that's probably going to be building. Yeah, to so that like get, getting right. to that point. And so in this season, in this season, I I feel like that good guys winning 
or um, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Like, I, 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 on one hand, I'm like, this is missing. But on the other hand, I'm like, it's not missing. It's intentionally not there. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like, what you want, but you don't but get what not, you, you want. You're not getting it in this series. <laughs> yeah. series. This is, you're in the wrong place if that's what you're looking for, my friend. Yeah. So starting to delve into spoiler territory a little bit. Yes. Okay, Do you so, we have, can, so, so we can say, hmm. the, are we gonna, we, this is the spoiler? Line. The, okay, this is Line the spoiler in the sand. All right, cool. Hmm. Um, so, uh, I, we might, I don't know how we're going to do this. Hmm. Uh, let's, let's just say spoiler territory now and then we'll cover it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're wrapping up the podcast anyway, so <laughs> let, let's get into it. So, um, do you have a favourite moment throughout the first se- season Ooh. so far? Um, Man, uh, oh, okay. While you're thinking about I'm it, I'm trying to have a think. Like, m- one of my favorite things killing I- translucent is probably a really yeah. big one <laughs> that happens early on, and yes. it's really good. It is fantastic. The way that they kill him is just amazing because yeah. <laughs> the idea is he has diamond skin, he- so they're just like, mm. Well. We can't Nothing shoot can him. Penetrate him. We saw that in the trailer. You can't mm. shoot him. It's not. It's not that he's invisible. It's the fact that his skin Ref- che- is basically it's a chameleon. Yeah, a uh, style effect. Yeah, and he, and he's like, my skin is made of like diamond material. Mm. You can't shoot me. You can't, you can't cut can't, it. Like you can't just poison in, in, me. Impenetrable, you can't, basically. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you could slip. Him. Like, and they go through this. Oh, could we just feed him? Pour acid down his throat. They're like, nope. Yeah, not gonna work. No, and they they go and through this like, process. Just like, all these different the things. Fuck? And then Huey's like, we have to kill him? And they're like, of course we have to kill yeah, him. like, we've just kidnapped this guy. The He's seven one of the seven. The seven are going to come looking for us and, and we they're going to kill us. And we know they're murderers, yeah. so he has to die. <laughs> that is the only reason. And then it's a very confronting of being like, oh, fuck, like, we got to kill him. Like, we can't just, because he will, he, he has, and he even says, like, I'm, when I get out of here, I'm going to tell them they're going to And they're going to come looking for you, yeah. And he's yeah. like, oh, okay, so we'll, we got to kill him. And he's like, good luck trying to kill me, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> But how they do it is, is something special. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as well because it was effectively the the Thanos theory that a lot of people came up yeah, with. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it is. Can't Ant Man just go up his butt <laughs> and expand. <laughs> They're like, what if we just stick an explosive up his ass and just detonate and it? Detonate it. Like, Fuck <laughs> hell. And holy moly. <laughs> holy hell. Um, oh. Just almost a, a, a bit of a tangent. I, I read I read something following on the Ant-Man up Thanos' butt theory. Yeah, yeah. And someone that like came up with a theory to counter it. It was along the lines of Thanos is so strong and he just powerful and like as an alien, as a Titan, like his um, biology, like that's just yeah, how yeah. he's made up. His muscle fibers are just super strong would, or would, whatever. Would Ant-Man just so like... Ant-Man would just like <laughs> compress <laughs> into <laughs> it. He would expand and just be crushed by the walls of his anus. <laughs> <laughs> I read that I was like, oh no. <laughs> that's such oh, a no. bad mental image. Oh my god. Oh that's terrible. <laughs> so anyway, sorry about that. Oh, sorry, boy. sorry, sorry to put that image into everybody's minds. Um <laughs> but <laughs> but um one of <laughs> one of my favorite running jokes, and I may, may t- touched on it earlier yeah. on, one of my favorite parts of this series is Aquaman being the joke. Yeah. And the running subtle joke is that he has some form of relationship with... Oh, he has sex with fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just as we're and looking dolphin, at it, yeah, the yeah. dolphin, like, in the trailer... He's in love with a dolphin. And he like, rescues yeah. a dolphin and it just, like, he's trying to save it. <laughs> and, and part of that running joke is every time he tries to save something, he ends up killing it. He ends <laughs> up getting it killed. Because he's inexperienced. He's an idiot. And that's the kind yeah. of what they touch on. They've been like, superheroes have powers and then, therefore, as a society, we grant them with... Like just With status, the ability and to go to and save people. Whatever, but yeah. they're like these superheroes are not trained. They like they're, they're just, not. They're, they're just not, people. They're not. They, they don't even have like they're not. They're not firefighters. They're not police. They're not ambulance. They're, mm. They don't have any training. They f- fucking have laser eyes, and they're just told go out there and do things. They do your thing, and then they end up murdering a whole bunch of people because yeah. they don't know how to how to actually how to take, save how to take care of people yeah. or and, do the right thing. And, yeah. and so every time the deep tries to save, he just any kills form something. of sea life. 
where it's like the, the dolphin he tries to save from SeaWorld. But when he got hit by, hit by, by a the truck, truck, I just <laughs> lost it. I was like, oh my God. And then when he goes shopping and he sees the lobster and he starts having a chat with us, like, oh my God, really? Oh, so, okay, don't worry. I got you. I got, got you covered. Hey, buddy, can I just, can I just get, get that, this that one over here? That one. And, and he's like, no, no, like, no, 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 not that one. That this one. one. I, this one partic- in particular. It's like, all right, got you, buddy. And he just takes it out. It's like, looks smug and happy I've with say, himself. I've saved, I've you, I'm using my, my powers, powers to, to save, save your life. The, and like, then he's go, stab. And he stabs it in the head. It's like, oh, <laughs> And it's like a running thing. It's just like every time. So it's either his having sex with a fish or he's trying to save them and <laughs> they end up dead. Like, again, it, it's just <laughs> making fun of the deep is is a good part of why i really enjoy this this series it's very much in the same way of the uh the harley quinn mm-hmm. new animated show mm-hmm. yes um that has the same running joke of that every time harley sees batman she's like this guy fucks bats <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. every single, without fail she's like, like no i, I don't he's like, i, I do didn't not. do that <laughs> <laughs> please stop please stop saying that <laughs> also harley quinn the animated series. Oh, you give that a slight fantastic. recommendation as well. Just that show's amazing. Throwing that in there in the mix as we talk about the boys. Just, I think they're just like all of this stuff are just such smart um, adaptations mm. and such time, so timely. And they're just, mm. they're just, uh, the, it works perfectly. I don't think you'd be able to make this show like however many years ago. Okay, yeah, like, no, definitely when, not. When this comic came out, I think it came out in 2012 12 or something like oh, that. Oh, no, no, it stopped in 2012. I think it came so out in 2008? 2007 or 2008 mm. or something like that. So right when <laughs> Iron Man came out. So mm. like very early in the life of, no one at that point knew that Marvel movies were going to be a, big a thing. thing and everyone mm. was going to know about everything about mm. all the superheroes. So I think if you made that, if you made that, when they made that book, mm. Um, obviously it was very relevant to people that read comic books because they're, mm. they're already familiar they with that They know trope, superheroes. They know those You things. couldn't make that show then mm. um, because people would be like, I don't understand it's why. Like, what joke are you making right yeah. now? Why are you showing a bad superhero? Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> now, now, now it's kind of at this point where we're like, oh, this is like, mm. this is totally, like totally um, in the right space to be mm. made. This mm. is the right context and everyone will yeah. get this and know what we're talking about. Mm. And will know, and even even the the anti corporate messaging as well yeah. is in a time it's very timely in a point where everyone's like, oh, I I understand, I, I get it, yeah, I get it, I get it. I we get have it. mega corps that are <laughs> basically running the world. Holy crap! To that point, like um, just some of the news that came out recently. Oh yeah, with Google, uh, oh no, Apple sorry, uh, Go- and Epic. Oh, oh no, Google and Apple took off Fortnite off the store, and yeah. now they're like, and they're having and this- Epic is now suing. Apple, and, Apple Google, and Google, and then they're swimming back and back and forth, and it's just and they're just, trying to sway public opinion, yeah. and you're just like, oh my god! <laughs> so this is draining. It's it's all it's all happening. Um, so yeah. yeah, no, it's 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 a it's a great show. Yeah, like, it's just, it's very good. I highly put. recommend as long as you are uh, you're in a good space to mm. kind of see the tough nature of some of this kind of content. Mm. It's very uh, it's it's very worthwhile yeah i think i think it's definitely definitely worth a look and it's good to give it give it a look now especially because season two is coming out around the corner next month uh early september i don't know it's september 7th i think yes um so no, September four. So September that's only four. Two weeks away. Two weeks. Three, three weeks away. Three weeks away as of this filming. Yes. So yeah, um, you you'd be able to smash through that, but right before and get up to mm. um get up to season two coming out, yeah. which I'm very excited for. Which um, should be good. So, I yeah, I, I'm very curious about how season two will play out because mm. the way season one ended with um effectively revealing um Butcher's wife. Yeah, still being alive, and um, no idea. Crazy and freaking. Yeah, what's it called? Is what's his name again? The main bad guy, Homelander. Homelander, <laughs> having the kid, um, mm. like that. That puts it in such a weird place where I was just like, okay, like you obviously expect that there's going to be a season two, but it's still very. Like who, who knows, knows what's going to happen? Like, I think and I think that's a great mark of a show as well. Yeah. Is that they? It's not and it didn't feel like a cheap cliffhanger, mm. but it feels like this show could go from anywhere for yeah. me. Like who knows what's going to exactly. happen? Exactly. It's not like what will happen next time. It's more like 
fuck what what is going to happen yeah. like i have no clue nobody ha- yeah um so, it's not like a binary thing and be like oh will they live or will they die find out like, next time it's just like <laughs> who the hell knows it's like what will, is in store? will anything happen who knows <laughs> yeah so, so very yeah. keen very but, keen okay throat. so it's probably time to wrap this review up yes uh thank you everyone for your time and checking us out uh if you haven't subscribed already and you like what you heard maybe go on and uh click that subscribe button if you really right like what you heard, please leave a review, uh, preferably five stars. All that stuff really helps us to be found by more people. Five stars. As there are Do lots it. and lots of podcasts out there. Do it. Especially movie podcasts. Do it. Um, I know. Very, <laughs> very tactically bad decision creating this podcast, honestly. Um, also, maybe recommending this podcast to a friend, or better yet, if you don't, if you didn't like this podcast and you really hate someone, maybe recommending uh, this to them would be a perfect way of getting back at them. Like, the, the, make know. them listen to us just a- absolutely, ramble absolutely. and talk about shit think, that you know, we this, like. This person really hated the boys and you don't like them just send them just, just like hey send check them. this out they this- really agree with you uh, <laughs> just just slide that right into there the you go. watch this yeah it's you're great. gonna love it you're gonna love it <laughs> so, all right anyway thank you so much for listening guys um and we don't know when the next one's gonna be but probably soon we'll try we'll find something that we want to watch and and, and just like a, a caveat right now we've talked about the boys and talked about how much we loved it that's not to say everything we're going to be reviewing is just going to be shows that we think is like, oh, you should watch this. You oh should watch Lord, this. No. We are going to find horrible dumpster fires. We're going to watch one episode and we're going to tell you how much of a horrible dumpster fire it is. So, <laughs> Excellent. So, so stay, stay tuned, tuned for that, for that one. as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>